If you need to go high level and you don't know what to do after a client says yes, in this video, I'm showing you a live onboarding that I had with my client a couple of days ago from getting a payment to setting everything up inside of the go high level software. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. You want to get started? I'm going to send you the link. You yeah. pay, you have, get access, and then I can help you set all that Facebook and integrate it. Okay. Sounds, Sounds good. good. So, yeah, There's so a link in the chat. You can click on that. Save that tab save that in your browser so you don't lose it because i have a lot of people me after a couple of days after a couple to a couple of weeks oh like what's the link where's the link so yeah don't lose it please no, no, no. let me know once you're logged in go to automations okay great everything is loaded perfect scroll down a little here uh, in the, yeah and then you see that one must do first contact created that one can you click inside and then assign to yourself you see that one which is, has a warning sign to it click that that one you can just remove and then click inside select users and then select yourself and then click save and then save at the top right corner okay so that's step number one good let's go back in the top left corner so now the automations are kind of like done you don't have to worry about that they already set up everything should be automated you don't have to worry much by the way, if you're new and you want help growing your AI agency or software as a service agency, and you need someone who will hold your hand, answer all questions, and have a super good community, a lot of premium resources to help you, as well as weekly calls five times a week with me and a Gohe level expert. Normally, it has an annual fee to be part of, but if you join Go High Level using my affiliate link, you will get in that community for free. If you're interested, I put all the details downstairs in the description. On to the yeah. video. On the left-hand side in the menu section, if you scroll lower, okay, as you can see, Facebook ads and training library. Okay, just click Facebook ads, for example. Enter business name. Okay, good. And then you see Facebook ads manager. Click connect. So I was setting up, I was trying to set up the uh, this one, but... Yeah. yeah it's under the same account zero active campaigns and in, in the top left corner you see that number is 9925 account i'll review those click on that yeah click on that okay so you only have one ad account so you see create a business portfolio that's what we need business portfolio because this right now is your personal stuff okay so just finish up all the remaining information there good uh so if we click there again in that section at the top left there yeah click uh you see that gear icon yes there click that mm -hmm. good you see accounts and pages have you created a facebook business page or you only have your personal uh facebook account uh, let's quickly create it and then I'm gonna let's create it. of course of course yeah let's quickly create so we can start running ads as soon as possible let's click pages and add create new facebook page yes if i give it a name now can i change it after or no yes bio yeah you can skip for now terms create page okay good click on that one also what we need to do is create an ad account don't overthink it basically like what's gonna take money and run ads so underneath the pages in the menu section add accounts click that and click add and then create a new ad account click that so that one is good minus eight usd a change to canadian click next my business next uh, i agree create add payment oh okay uh in the meantime people assign people uh, uh, yeah click that and then uh click yourself and then full like everything check all the manage add account full control that one and then assign it done okay so that's done and what we need is the payment yeah you see billing billing and payments click that okay now add payment method and now uh yeah click next Okay, so you follow the steps, add your tax ID and everything and the card information that's looking good. Now, in the menu section on the left hand side, mm -hmm. click events manager, that one, yes, connect data, and then web first one, and then next. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yep. Okay, do you see data sets on the left hand side underneath overview? Yeah. Now, what I need you to do, please, is you see that one, gather website events from browser activity, set up metapixel. That one, yeah. yeah. Install code manually, click that, and then copy the code. Click the button, copy the code. Beautiful. Go to uh, Gripping Digital. Oh, yeah. Okay. So hold on. So go to sites, go to sites on in the menu area, and then go to websites, mm -hmm. and then click inside, and then go to settings. Yep. That one. And then you see uh, head tracking code, paste the pixel there. Boom. Done. Scroll down, and then save. Amazing. And uh, so that is done. You can scroll down here, and then click continue. Uh, turn on that one mm -hmm. and then done now we are done that's good now click on gear in the bottom left okay 
that one. Click on data sources. So the same menu section on the left hand side, scroll down a little and then data sources. You see the big one. Yep. And then click on data sets and pixels. That one. Mm -hmm. And then assign people, right hand side, assign people, that one. And then select yourself and then manage, hold on, manage full control and then assign. Yes, that's good. Click done. What else? What else? What else do we need? I think we done here. Group digital. You go to uh, in the menu section. You can, yeah, you can close that. And then the menu section, scroll down. And then you see Facebook ads. Click integrations next to settings. There you go. Click connect. So, uh, yep. Select that one and then continue and then yet yeah, that one yeah and then continue yep save you are connected okay scroll down a little add account and then page and then click save okay click accept terms yep and click accept now go back to gripping digital yeah refresh the page and okay, now it's connected everything looks green should be good okay click launch new campaign top right yes that one click instagram facebook yeah, click auto dealers. We have those templates and then that one from 97, zero cash. So click that, select. You see lead form, first campaign details, first selector, that one. Click that. Messenger engagement. Yes. And then daily budget is going to be uh, $10. Now type address. That address is where your dealership is. And then click set this as my default address. You see that checkbox in the bottom left corner? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Click launch campaign. Okay, that's going to take a couple seconds. So that's going to be messages, right? Yeah. So you start getting those messages, see how that goes. And then for the websites, we can also start the campaign for websites as well. I'm going to instruct you. But like until then, let's do a couple more things because we <clears throat> it's not yet ready for website leads. Anyway, you can minimize this Google Meet window right now. Okay, so let's go to settings in the bottom left corner. Let's actually start here. No, no, no. So the first one, friendly business name, that is the name which will be showing everywhere on the websites and everywhere. So that friendly business name, this is your trade name that is going to be shown everywhere. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can ch you can change it anytime. Now, do you have a legal business name? Uh, yes, it was. So business email. Uh, so that one is that business phone. That's your personal phone. Uh, not show anywhere for the client. No. No, no, no. So branded domain, don't worry about that. Business website, don't worry about that. Business niche, don't worry about that. Business currency, don't worry about that. And then on the right hand side, scroll up a little. That one, okay, scroll up. So street address and business physical address. For that, enter your legal business's address, not the the dealership. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? I know. I'm just getting tired already. Like it's like I know. Oh no, there's so, part of that. I mean, you're probably used to it, but my head's spinning right now. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. Well, imagine doing it by yourself. I wow. That's no, don't even go there. No, no. Hold on. Uh, I know yeah. like what I can and cannot do. And then from the issue with me that then that's why I was asking so many questions and then all, all, all kinds of options. I lose patience after a while. I'm not uh -huh. a tech I mean I understand technology very well, but for the most part. But when it comes down to implementation and all these little things, I, I start losing it. And then I'm like, oh, screw it, man. And that's why I don't want to give up, right? So yeah, one sec, one sec. On the so business authorized representative, that's gonna be you, business. Yeah, so enter your first last. No, it's okay. It's you can fill it out. You can do the fill out. Mm -hmm. Job position is gonna be dear director. Phone number the same one, your personal. For business, uh, will it will it show? No, it's not gonna show anywhere. And then click update information blue button there blue button yeah now business information that one business type <clears throat> on the left hand side you see that one so business type is going to be corporation or limited liability uh automotive just put automotive and then business registration id is going to be click that and then it's going to be uh canada c c n and then that one is your uh business registration number okay which i don't have handy you don't have it i need it now because that all is required to get a phone number for you uh like a crm number which will be sending sms messages so if you if you have it somewhere saved business number you can enter it now it's going to be better mm -hmm, mm -hmm. give me one second let me see if I, what i can find yeah oh that's the one that's the one Put it there and then update information. So that's good. Now in the bottom left, integrations. Uh, in the menu section, integrations. Yeah, that one. You see Facebook and Instagram. Click connect. Okay, and then yeah, and then that one, and then continue. That one again, and then continue. Sure, continue, and then save. Got it. Uno momento. Select it. Checkbox. Yes, and then connect and continue. Okay, good. Conf uh, no, 
close that close this pop-up window uh hold on you see uh settings below facebook instagram it was like me and hp no, no no facebook and instagram icons right in the middle of the screen and then lower settings that one yes and then uh okay so facebook messages are synced that's good and then connect uh good okay now messages will be populating here in the system from the ads that we set up previously which is good uh one more thing is you see google calendar take me there yes so this one is gonna sync your events so for example appointments like in-person appointments that drive appointments it's gonna show up not only in the system but also in your personal calendar click add new and then google whichever you use icloud or google yeah okay the one that you use the most then continue continue and we get to go refresh the page are disconnected we could fix this yeah click fix i don't know why reconnect yeah that one again good yeah close that let's see okay good so it's connected beautiful okay now in the menu section gray area uh you see custom values custom values that one you see appointment address and then all the way to the right the three dots that one and then edit and then you can go to the google maps of the dealership that you did i think it's the last tab on it yes and then copy that again that one copy the address yeah paste it there okay good and then update um now is the time for domain very last thing we just need to quickly buy domain so you told me you don't have any domains you didn't buy them anywhere we can buy it here uh... I have a domain. Uh, I just haven't used that. Um, I was gonna because I was gonna set up a landing page. It's like mm, Namecheap or uh, GoDaddy. Have... Is that on GoDaddy? Let's let's log in. Yes. Okay. It's not there. You don't have anything. So oh. it should be somewhere else, like Namecheap maybe. Squarespace. There's another one. Namecheap probably. Okay. Click manage there. Yeah. And then advanced DNS. Um... Advanced DNS on the right hand side. Uh, on the yeah, it's like in the middle of the screen. And yes, that one. I promise you, it's the last thing we're gonna do today. Oh my <laughs> just hold on a little okay now go to gripping digital which is your tab right in the middle on the, in the menu section and then you see domains and urls yeah that one connect a domain click that first one funnels website stores blog web, and then connect yes so now go to namecheap move your course a little bit higher yeah that one just copy this whole thing yeah copy uh, yeah paste it there continue we don't need www uh unselect this checkbox else also, uh, also add yeah that one and then add record manually at the bottom left corner in the pop-up yeah yes okay hold on now it's simple you see this required value 162159140 mm -hmm. copy this whole thing yeah that one okay good okay, now go to namecheap scroll down in the screen you see hold on you see the red one add new record click and then a record and now host you see next to a record do the same squiggly a like the a with the thing is like a gmail thing yeah that one symbol cool and then the ip address you see that ip address next one paste what you copied in the previous one so yes and then Click check check mark green check mark at the yes. Uh, let's see, okay, that's good. Now let's go back to Grip and Digital and then verify records right corner. Yes, so it might take a couple of mm, one minute. Uh, maybe we'll need to click it again. Ooh. It doesn't always like right away update. Should be good though. We'll see a, a marathon. Oh, uh, like, my head's spinning already. But you know what? I always like it's. I didn't realize it was that complicated. Holy good, good. Okay, so click website. So you see that one website, and then oh, the first one. Click that one. Yeah, inside. Yeah, and then link tree car sales. That one. Yeah, and then that's it. Uh, proceed to finish. Amazing. Okay, so I think we're done. What else do we need? What else do we need? Click. Uh, go back in the top left corner, and then you see at the uh, at the very bottom training library. Okay, why is it black? very not good okay i'll have to change that but uh let's just see expand any of them subprime calls yeah those some some scripts cold call uh not cold yeah cold call scripts those are good ones but if i have any questions then you know i'll probably maybe i'll send you an email or anything about of yeah. Course, yeah of course oh by the way yes actually one more, uh, go open your phone go to play store and type lead connector and you can use the same login information that you logged in you can write you registered or gripping digital same thing so that's where like all your leads will be you can message them you can reply to them also you will be getting notifications by email and internal notifications in the phone so that's where i get the leads right if you go to gripping digital on the in the browser as well mm -hmm. so where they will be is in opportunities if you click opportunities they're going to be organized here like in their pipeline stages and what else is they're going to be in the conversations if you scroll down scroll up in the menu a little scroll up so conversations so all everything will be there new leads that came in and you will be able to send messages here in the conversations 
Okay. Same on same on the phone as well. Yeah, if you go scroll down in the menu section and let's actually, if you want, we can start another campaign real quick. Facebook ads, launch campaign, top right corner, Facebook and Instagram, that one. And then select the video with the girl. Instead of a lead form, click landing page. Daily budget, put 20. Now for the website, okay, that's where hover your cursor on Gripping Digital, right click, and then duplicate. In this duplicate, go to sites. Yes, that one. Good. And uh, websites, click link tree, car sales, click that one. And now click on the pre-approved, click preview. You see bottom bottom right, there's like an arrow sticking out of the box. Yeah, preview link. Copy the URL and go to the first Gripping Digital tab yeah, and then paste it in the website. Yes, good. And then you see advanced settings. Yeah, click that and then scroll down a little and then pixels and then no pixel and then select pixel. Yeah, that one. Okay, good. Pixel is to see what's happening on the website. So for Facebook to know what's happening on the website because now it's blind without the pixel. Click a uh, launch campaign, blue button launch campaign. Yeah. Okay, good. So now we're spending $10 on messenger, $20 on leads from the website. So far, so good. It's and good. the leads will be engaged automatically as we get them, right? Yes. So system will send them emails, messages, trying to engage them, re-engage them. And then once they like engaged, like once they reply to an automation, you will get another email uh, notification saying like, hey, they engaged. Thank you, brother. I appreciate yeah. that. Uh, I guess we'll be in touch if I need anything. I'll, I'll I'll let you know, but hopefully we'll start getting some, just start generating some stuff. Right Absolutely, away. yeah, yeah. But if you have any questions, let me know. We'll do. We'll figure it out. Take care. <laughs> Take care, rather. Take care. <laughs> I hope you found a lot of value in this live onboarding. If you're interested in growing your AI agency, SaaS, or regular SMMA where you run ads for local businesses, highly recommend watching this video on the screen right now. Super in depth from zero to hero, how to build your business. See you in the next one.